after a really good soaking, I always enjoy the look of my Vandacious or the Angrecoids because sometimes it's not as easy to keep them well drenched using a lot of spray. The roots don't absorb as well as I would like, but I love it when the rain does it for me. And I thought I'm gonna pull them out while we still have these conditions and it's just subsided a little bit. I'm expecting more. So let's have a look at some of these Angrecoids Vandacious types here. And this is my Holcoglossum Kimberlianum. Hey, just as the sun comes out. This plant has never bloomed for me. It is a very vigorous grower. Needless to say, when I got it, it was down here to the height of the Joya log there. I put like a microfiber in between because in the beginning I didn't want too many roots to go into the Joya log because I wasn't sure about the setup. But as you can see, it grew faster than I could make my mind up and has now surpassed its height. Oh goodness, that is some warm sun suddenly. That's awesome. But you can also see that after two hours of rain, how the roots are not saturated anymore. And that is the problem I'm having with this one and I can spray it and spray it and spray it. The roots will turn a darker color as they absorb the water, but dries up very quickly. I have it in this orchid top pot hoping that many roots will go down. And then, you know, I already have one down in the tray, which is sometimes the lifeline of this plant. And I have two plantlets, two side shoots growing as well. So there's this one, and there's one tucked back in there as well. So it's growing really well, but it has not bloomed for me yet. I call it Kimi. I love it, just because of the way it looks. I love the blooms too, but you know, <laughs> so far, nada. And next to it, I have uh, an Angrecum bossary, because of the name. That's my surname in there, and then there's an R-I at the end. Yeah, I bought it because of the surname factor. <laughs> no blooms yet, but it's doing really well. It's in a mix of ceramics, lava rock, and uh, in the orchid top pots, which I absolutely love for these kinds. If it were to ever have to come out of that pot, it's a minimal disturbance of the roots, but it's doing well. I love it, just because of the way it is. I love my angrecoids. It would be nice to see some blooms, but it is definitely a very welcome addition to my collection. And next to that, I have Jumelia arborensis. Small baby as such, but it's doing really well. Just in lava rock. This is a bathroom soap dish. <laughs> and I thought it's ideal for an angrecoid. So there's plenty of roots down in the lava rock. You can see that there are more growing now. I've been tempted to put this in Lekka with uh, self-watering, but uh, it's doing so well. I'm just gonna leave it be, let it do its thing and grow up. Maybe one day it will bloom for me. They have such pretty little blooms. They look like little ghosts. So cute. And then I have my big uh, Crestwood Tomorrow Star here in the large orchid top. It's doubled in size since I got it. So I think I'm maybe another year or two years off of expecting any blooms whatsoever. But when it rains, I love how this plant responds. Even though you can now see that the root is drying out. But when these roots go all dark, I love it. You can see some uh, bug damage, but I don't, I, I've never saw bugs in here. 
I think that uh, doing the silicon thing and the, the heavy calcium dosage that it gets constantly, because when I fertilize or when I spray this, there's always fertilized water in here. But I think the bugs tried to get at it and left some marks, but didn't progress any further and then just left the plant. I never actually saw signs of bugs in here at all because I always look out for them after Ed says, watch out for the leaf joints. But yeah, you can see there was something at some time and making an attempt, but failed. So that's good. And then in this one is just in the Yorkie top with Lekka lava rock and then there's ceramics interspersed in there as well. And you know, I absolutely love the irregular form of the Lekka on the top here. Because when I potted it up, the Lekka was only to here. So there's a lot of roots in there and they're pushing the Lekka up which is fabulous. Look at these roots. Oh, yum. There's such good growth there. And I have lots of roots coming out of the apex, but they stalled. For some reason, they stalled. There's one in here. That's doing well. This one stalled. But I had some roots in the back here as well. They stalled. This one stalled last year. You can see how the tip just dried off and then it just decided to shoot out two branches so <laughs> whatever and look at this stonker of a root coming out the back here hang on a second look at that what is this root central they're all coming out of those apexes and there's one even starting to branch so the one that's stalled in here is starting to branch Oop, there so, just the shape of it. It's such a majestic plant. I love it. Blooms or not. I can see how it's doing. I can see how it's growing. The irregularity on the Lekka. Look, it's almost going to push out the ball, Lekka balls there on the left. <laughs> I'm not moving them. I want to see if I can one day just see a Lekka ball on the side in the tray there. So, yeah. A little insight, a little look at my angrecoids. Sorry for the shakiness. Maybe a little less coffee would have been good this morning. But it was raining and it was so cozy. So yes, here are my angrecoids vandacious. I know that Kimberlianum doesn't fit into the angrecoid category. But basically, it was demanding and crying for attention. I have seen uh, the parents of the um, Crestwood Tomorrow Star. I've seen those grow in Kenya. That's why I have such an affinity for them, I guess. If uh, when you see these plants in in the wild and they just take over the trees it's, it's so impressive that's why I use the word majestic because that's the way to describe it they really really are they're massive and those roots that go around the trunk it is just a sight to behold it really is so my little puny little plants here <laughs> oh well they remind me of home so there's that Thank you so much for watching and uh, as always I hope to see you again next time and if you have any questions regarding these that I have, any suggestions etc, please leave your comments below. I welcome them and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care, bye.